Hey guys, Brian and Austin here once again for the latest Just the Chat video. Hello everybody. Unfortunately, I just screwed up and we missed, <laughs> missed uh, our first opening three minutes or so. But We only lost like three minutes, it's fine. We'll just repeat all the things we said verbatim and pretend like we've never said them before. So just sound natural <laughs> and everything will work out fine. Alright, but uh, yeah, we're here to talk about the upcoming Mario Kart 8 update, which will add a few new things. And it's going to add the Mercedes-Benz DLC as well. Which is probably the m most notable thing from this. I mean, there's a couple other things, but we might as well talk about the Mercedes-Benz thing first, right? right? Uh, when it first was announced for Japan, people they didn't beat it to death talking about whether they liked or disliked it. And I think most people kind of agreed, eh, who cares, right? Mm -hmm. At the very worst, it's just something you can ignore. Um so again, you said earlier that to, you don't really care. It doesn't bother you that much. Yeah. Um, but I guess I didn't really ask. Do you actually are you excited for them in any regard? Do you actually want them, or are you just like, eh? I'm totally indifferent to them. Yep, I don't. Me too. <laughs> I don't care about them. I don't hate them. They're just gonna be there. And like you said, I feel the same way. It's a little bit weird to see them in there, but whatever. Well, it's when it comes down to it. We already, just in the base game, in terms of, like, cart stats, have every possible stat thing that could exist. And I can't imagine these cars are going to be drastically different, uh, other than aesthetically, than what's already in the game. So in a certain sense, in a gameplay sense, who cares? And visually, they're not that interesting. I mean, some people have remarked that they think it's kind of funny looking, and so maybe it's worth something in terms of comedy. I don't really even think it's that funny looking. A little bit, maybe. But, um, yeah, it's just, I'm sure you'll see a big influx of people driving them on the first couple of days that they're released, and then everyone will go back to the cooler-looking sneaker cars and the giant boat and stuff. Yep, and we're actually getting three cars, not just one as we originally thought. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's the... I'm not even going to try and name... It's probably a good thing we lost the recording because <laughs> I was trying to name all the cars and I have no idea. Yeah, I'm, yeah. there's like a van and a road car and another car and a fancy car, I don't know. Yep, I don't know them either, but... Yep, so we'll see if, you know, I'm sure one of them is going to be the slow one, the or the slow acceleration, high top speed, then there's going to be the high acceleration, low top speed, and then one of them is going to be the middle of the road car. Um, I'm sure that, you know, is part of why they maybe added three mm -hmm. rather than just the rather than just the one, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. In terms of the actual update, so, yeah, they are adding quite a few things. I know it's going to sound silly, but I'm really excited that they're adding the ability to display the course map on the TV. Oh, me too. That's the number one thing. I saw that and I was like, finally. <laughs> like, it's so nice to be able to see how far ahead or behind you are, yep. you know? And you have to look down at the gamepad to do that, and it's so obnoxious. Like, you would, um, you would think that's it's such a small thing, but it honestly does make a big difference. Yeah, I don't know what... I mean, there's a couple of decisions decisions with Mario Kart 8 that are in this realm where I just don't know why they did it. Like, why not let you display the map? Are they just assuming that if there are four people around, they're all going to be staring, like, looking down at the gamepad, like, on a table? I don't know what the thought there was. Yeah, um, I don't really have So I'm glad idea. they're fixing that. Same here. And they're also fixing something that didn't bother me that much. You know how the default option was to view a highlight instead of go to the next race after you finish a race? Mm -hmm. uh, I never had a problem with it, but I can, you know, it doesn't make a difference to me which one's where. I think maybe they, well, they probably added it initially because they wanted people to use the highlight real feature, right? Mm -hmm. it never, That's probably where like, that came from. It never, like, made me want to pull my hair out, but I nope. did find it a little bit annoying. Like, sometimes I would accidentally... Hit a couple times. It wasn't that bad, though. Yeah, I guess. I'm definitely glad that they're changing it, though. And it's fine with me. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me. So what's up with the... It says, last used cart customization added to save. What does that mean exactly? All right, well, it's been a little while since I've played the game, so I might be misremembering. But right. from what I do remember, I don't think it saved the carts that you selected Right. In the different yeah. parts when you power down the Wii U. Yeah, you not if game. you power down. That was the thing. Mm -hmm. But it's going to do that now. Huh? Yeah, so like if you have a customization that you're using, you don't have to go back and okay. search for all the parts that you're using again. I, I That's that's pretty nifty. Now, I'm guessing what it's just going to be is when you boot up the menu, it'll just have them all loaded up. Like it's not going to be you select your special 
cart customized option from like a menu, it's just going to have them all default selected. Yeah, I think that's why it's going to um, happen. Like you'll boot up a race, or you know, like you'll go into a certain race and you're going to choose your parts. And rather than just starting out at the beginning of the cycle, you'll it'll be at the certain place that you had last used each right, part, the last one that you chose. Yeah. So, um, I wonder if that's going to be like if you do two player, does it save it to the me? Of like, if the second person comes in and picks another me, I wonder if theirs will be saved or not. Because um, it says added to save, which to me means added to like your your me save file. Because each me has a different VR rating and uh, um, you know different stuff unlocked. So I'm I feel like that would be how they would do it, but we'll have to see. Because I mean, I have people over often enough that play Mario Kart, and it would be nice not to have to wait for everyone to scroll through and find all their parts again, especially if they don't necessarily play the game that often and they're not as used to finding it as quickly. So Yeah, definitely. We'll see, yeah. I'm not, That's all right. I'm not sure how they're going to handle it, but maybe they'll do something like that. Yep, yep. All right, so the next point is that users will be able to change the options of other players' Mario Kart TV download highlight reels. Yeah. Such as changing That's... the focus to different characters or actions. Um. It, uh, I, this to me, Mario Kart TV is a lot of fun mm-hmm. for very specific things. But in terms of general use, like looking through other people's highlight reels and make even making highlight reels in general, they're all made in a way that makes them all look more or less pretty similar. Yeah, I guess. Um, so I, I like it. The highlight reel feature is useful for when you do something really cool and you want to go watch it again. I don't know. Do you ever find yourself? I, I I mean, it's not really editing, is it? It's just selecting options from a menu and then uh, watching them. Do you ever find that especially useful versus just be, being able to view the whole race with these cool cinematic camera angles? Man, that's kind of tough because I haven't messed around too much with Mario Kart TV. I mainly just yeah. watch interesting highlights from other people from time to time. Yep. that's To me, that's what it's good for, right? It's like when those exceptional moments happen, you can go back and look at them. Yeah, someone actually uploaded like a short kind of video clip. It wasn't from Mario Kart 8, but I think it was from Double Dash. I don't know if you've seen this. I think it was Daisy. She got hit by like a ton of items and she was, it was at like the right end of the end of the race. She got hit by all these different items and basically she ended up finishing last or something. It was just wow. really hilarious. Yeah. I've no, I haven't seen that in particular. No, but I mean, that's the kind of stuff theoretically Mario Kart TV would be used for, but most races are pretty, you know, just normal races. So there's usually not something that interesting or you hope there's not that something like that every race. Yep. <laughs> um, so it's, uh, I'm fine being able to edit it. It's just another option, but I don't think it'll affect me too much, but you know, it's all right. Um, as far as the, 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 there's basically two more things here. One of them is that now you can view a record screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, with your online win loss record, which I really like, yep. I like to be able to see that. That's going to be fun. Character selection rates, your total coins, all that kind of stuff. That I really like looking at game stats like that. Yeah, I do too. And especially for online games like Mario Kart, being able to see how many races I've won and lost is a really cool thing. But we still don't get to see. Apparently, it doesn't seem like we get to see uh, times after doing the uh, like, grand yeah. prix. You know, yeah. like where? Why isn't that in here? Yeah. I don't understand. Like, I want to know how close I finished behind or in front of someone. Um, so that's still kind of a bummer. It's You would think in this kind of update they would address that, um, especially because this online win-loss record is in that same vein, right? Mm-hmm. Like tracking specific stats about races. But, you know, that's still a bummer to me. Yeah, it definitely feels like uh, they could still add or change a couple of things. Totally. Well, and, and aside from, because the next one just says improved online stability. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's always nice. Like, we're not going to see specifically what that means, but, you know, it'll be nice to know that there's some sort of improvement there. But in terms of stuff that we still want addressed, it would be being able to see uh, times, right? Yep. That's one of the things that we want in, in an update. The only other thing that I want, and I'm still completely baffled as to why it doesn't have it, is split screen between the gamepad and the TV. Yeah, that's probably the only uh, other thing I would say, too. It just, it boggles my mind because this is like their console (laughs) and their flagship game. And if you want to do split screen, you have to do it on the TV or you can do split screen on the gamepad, but the gamepad screen gets cut in half. Right. And then you have two people on the gamepad and it just, it doesn't make any sense to me. It would be so nice for two people to have full screens 
to themselves. And I, it just, I, they said it was because they liked it better when you could kind of screen peek. It sort of made it feel closer. Mm-hmm. But just fine, keep that as an option if you want it. But I, I would like to be able to split it up. Yeah, if it were up to me. So I actually played Mario Kart 8 locally for the first time. I think it was just a couple of days ago, and I was nice. surprised that on the gamepad it was showing those two, you know, the split screen. It still splits it. It's just exactly what's on the TV it gets pushed down there. Mm-hmm. It's so weird. Um, and so yeah, that those are the only two things that I would still update into it. Is there anything you can think of that that bothers you about the game that you'd like to be able to do? I can't really say anything else really bothers me. You know, it would be interesting to see if they did offer uh, more battle courses, you know, true battle course <sighs> arenas. I, I, You know what? I completely forgot that there was battle mode in this game, and you just reminded me, and it made me upset. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really <laughs> touched it. Because I just it. remember how truly terrible it is. They need to take the time limit off battle mode. There's an update. No time limit. Take it away. Uh, take away ghosts in battle mode. That's something you can change. So there's there's a lot of issues with battle mode, and we could go on for a long time about them, I guess. Yeah. Um, so beyond updates, then, I guess the final question, as far as this is concerned, is, hey, we know we can get DLC now, sort of. Um, what else do we want? Courses, obviously, right? Yeah, and That's battle sort mode. of the go-to. Battle mode arenas. Battle mode arenas. I, but wh- why even have battle mode arenas if you're still going to have to deal with, like, if you do a, a 12-person online battle mode thing, if you get down to the last two people, there are 10 ghosts running around. That's very true. <laughs> and it's way more likely that the ghost is going to shoot the person than the two the two individual people are going to find each other. So to me, battle mode courses or arenas aren't even necessarily worth that much unless you take away the time limit and take away the ghosts thing. Because those two things are worse for battle mode, in my opinion, than than even the course designs. So I don't know. We'll see. It'll, it would be nice to see like Block Fort come back. Yeah, I would seriously but, love that. Uh, but I would still uh, have problems with it if they kept the... Uh, the rules the same so we'll see i um there was oh i was just thinking one other thing i would like is uh we could get like a 200 cc cup no that would like be a, interesting. just a brutally <laughs> like double dash 150 cc hard just not even the the computer players don't even have to follow the same rules you do they just are faster than you yeah. and you have to keep up with them because that's kind of how all the mario kart games used to be mm-hmm. On like N sixty well in N sixty four they sort of rubber banded to stay near you. But in like Super Circuit and the Super Nintendo, Super Mario Kart and Double Dash, they just sped away. And if you couldn't catch them, too bad for you. <laughs> um so that that's that's something that I would like is sort of having this challenge, like, hey, try and beat this ridiculously hard computer thing. Cause I really like doing that in the other Mario Kart games. But aside from that, I don't have any uh DLC suggestions or anything, so I'm not sure if uh, you've got anything specific you've been thinking about. Well, you know what's interesting is that sometime in the near future, maybe before the end of this year, Mario Kart 8 is going to somehow incorporate Amiibo, right? Yeah, that's right. So I don't know how they're they're going to use that. I can't see how it could possibly be used other than letting those characters be racers. Yeah, I don't know. Like, how does it make any sense... Because we presume that all of the amiibo characters that we know about work with will work with Mario Kart, mm-hmm. right? And those amiibo characters are based off of Smash Brothers. So, in what way could Samus be used with Mario <laughs> Kart that would make it different than, say, using? Uh, does Mega Man have an amiibo figure? I don't know, but let's pretend he does. Then, then different than using Mega Man as a Mario Kart figure, unless those characters are actually going into the game. Or, so I don't. Or maybe it won't use those characters. Maybe it'll just be restricted to like Mario, uh, Toad. Or... But isn't the whole point of? Well, I guess that's a good point, though, right? I, I feel like the whole point of the amiibo, though, for them was to say, if you buy these, you can use them in a lot of different games. And are is there going to be any other game that you're going to be able to use Samus? That's in? That's a good you point. Know? They're not going to probably put Amiibo in Metroid, right? Hmm. So what? how do they cross-platform a character like Samus or Mega Man? A Mega Man in particular, if he's getting an Amiibo, I don't know if he is, um, or, or Pit, right? How do you cross-platform someone like, like Pit or Samus without sticking them in like a Mario sports game or a Mario Kart? Um, yeah, I don't know how they do that. I do not know. But you know what? I bet you're right. I bet it's just only the Mario characters work. Mm-hmm. And but if that's the case, how does that even work? Yeah, I don't know. You know, so 
It's a good um, thing. The only thing that I've thought through is that we'll be able to play as all these new characters. But if that's the case, then I suppose the Mario amiibo figure is now useless, right? Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's interesting, but we're gonna have a while to wait. I'm amazed they've waited so long to do DLC in general. Mm. Uh, you know, because most people do it within the first couple of months. That's true. But uh, you know, it's uh, if we get new courses and they're good, that's that will make me happy. I will pay as much money as they want if they just give us new courses that are as good as the courses we have now. Yep. So. And any other thoughts? Uh, not really. Just that the uh, update is supposed to come out on August twenty seventh in yep, all August regions. August twenty seventh. That's uh, seventeen days from recording. Probably like sixteen days from when people hear it. I don't know mm -hmm. when this is going up. Um. So yeah, I'll definitely pull out Mario Kart again when that when that hits for sure. And Super Mario Kart is now out on the eShop. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I need to buy that. They actually put that's that up game. in conjunction with this update and DLC announcement. So that was kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, we Virtual Console is another topic, but at least they've gotten one more game that's worth buying on there. Um. And I like Super Mario Kart, so that's good. That's they don't usually do stuff like that. The last time I remember is they put up, uh, was it Super Metroid went up on the Wii Virtual Console alongside like the the Metroid Prime Three release or announcement or something like that. Um, it was something like that. I think it was Metroid. So Maybe. yeah, but they don't do it too often. They don't do those types of type of cross promotional things very often. Nope. But this was nice at least. Yep, it's just more virtual console games, and I'm always down to have a bigger library to pick from. Yep. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it for this update news. Yep, that's it's a short, you know, Mario Kart 8 update. It's nice, but not a whole lot to say. Yeah, just a little informative video for people to listen to and to listen to our thoughts. Yep, exactly. And if you have any thoughts about this update, you can share them in your comments. Do you hate the Mercedes-Benz DLC, or are you okay with it? Someone is bound to hate it. Yeah, but maybe people. And I can mind. understand. I understand that feeling. Like I have that feeling a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, guys. So we will see you on the next video. Yep. See you later. Thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs>